welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make Cornish fairings. Now fairings uh, are a centuries old thing, uh, little treats that you could buy or people could buy centuries ago in uh, when they went to fairs where their town or village had a fair and they were just little treats you could buy and Cornish fairings are similar to a ginger nut or a ginger snap biscuit a crunchy biscuit but they differ in that as well as uh, ginger they have some mixed spice and some cinnamon in them very very simple to make and very delicious and they're nice and crunchy so I start off by preheating my oven to 180 degrees celsius that's 160 celsius with a fan 350 fahrenheit and I've lined two baking trays with parchment paper and I'll put nine balls of dough on each baking tray. So I'll go on to the ingredients and for this it's very simple. I have 165 grams which is um, one cup plus two tablespoons of plain flour. 75 grams which is five uh, tablespoons and one teaspoon of unsalted butter. 75 grams which is six packed tablespoons of light brown sugar. 45 millilitres which is three tablespoons of golden syrup. I have uh, six grams two teaspoons of ground ginger and then I have uh, about uh, two grams three quarters of a teaspoon of mixed spice and the same again of ground cinnamon. And then I have uh, six grams which is one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, six grams one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and three grams half a teaspoon of salt. That's all the ingredients and I will just put the baking powder and the baking soda and the salt into the flour and I'm going to mix that around so that I get that distributed nicely and then I'll just set that to one side for a moment. So with all these other ingredients I'm going to put those into a saucepan and then I'm going to put those on the stove and I'm going to heat them until the butter and sugar have melted into the golden syrup. So I put those onto the heat and melt them. Now you don't need to watch that melting, it's just gradually going to melt and I'll stir it as, I, as it melts and then when it's all combined I'll come back. So my mixture has melted now and I'm simply going to pour that into the flour mixture and I'm going to stir that around until it's um, all combined. Not going to put my hand in because that's going to be hot. And that's mixed nicely now into a paste. So what I would need to do is take a little spoons full of that and put them onto my baking tray. Form them into a ball and put them onto the baking tray. And 
I want about 22 grams each time basically. About the size of a walnut. So that amount there is 22 grams and I'm simply going to roll that in my hand and put it on the baking tray like that and do the same with the remainder. And so there are my 18 balls of uh, cookie dough or biscuit dough on the baking trays. I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for between 12 and 15 minutes. Uh, how long you bake them for depends on how crunchy you want them. The shorter the time they will still be crunchy after 12 minutes once they've uh, cooled down but they will be crunchier if you bake them for longer. So that, that's a choice that you can make. So I'll put them in the oven, I'll bake them and then uh, I'll take them out of the oven, put them on a baking tray to cool down and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. I should say that if you want to just press them, once they come out of the oven, while they're still warm, if you want to press them a little bit flatter, that will work just fine. Then they will, they will then harden uh, flatter than they might otherwise be. But that's up to you. So I'll come back once these have baked and cooled. I baked the Cornish fairings for 13 minutes and uh, they looked quite good. And I did actually use um, this little cookie uh, spatula and just pressed the top down when I took them out of the oven. I left them on the tray for about two minutes then I transferred them to a wire rack and they're now almost cool, not quite but almost cool. So this is what they look like and they've baked up quite nicely um, and you can hear they're nice and crisp. So I'll have a little uh, bite on this one that I've already nibbled Nice and crunchy and airy, with a lovely spicy flavour. Very, very good. And uh, these are the sorts of biscuits that I like to dunk in a cup of tea. So, um, very simple to make, a lovely old fashioned recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an I that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link in the video uh, below the video and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.